Hello, YouTube. Uh, let's talk fenders. I just put this uh, fender on my fat moto. It's a uh, it's a shorty fender. Now this is this is the kind of fender I like because I'm not going for function. I'm going for look. Because I don't ride in the rain. I don't ride it every day. I, I'm I want a certain look. Now if you're going for function, you can probably go ahead and have a full fender and a couple of braces. This one's fine. Uh, I got it red loctited in down here. I got a nylon lo locking nut here and this brace. That thing is solid. Now a lot of guys say don't run metal fenders on a motorized bike because it'll come off, get in your spokes and make you wreck, make you break your leg, your collarbone, bust your head, whatever. But, uh, and it's probably true. So if you're gonna put a fender on, it's gotta be secure. Now some guys even go as far as drill holes here and here and put zip ties as extra insurance in case, you know, these rivets or something, a bolt breaks loose, which is a good idea. Now some guys use these plastic fenders like this one on this electric mountain bike, which is fine. They function fine. Now these fenders, if they fall off, they're plastic. They're not going to do much. I just don't happen to like the look on the fat moto of those plastic fenders. I, I don't like them. I'm old school. Like when I was a kid, first thing we did was take the fenders off your bike or else chop them. But anyway, um, here's the front fender that matches that rear. Now this one is going to be a little different because I'll have nowhere to support it except for that mount. So what I'll do is I'll mount it and I'll keep an eye on it. And if it gets loose, those rivets start to come out, vibrate loose, I'll take it off. But that's the look I like. That short, chopped, ducktail, bobbers type look. That's I'm going for look more than function. If you want function, get you some full fenders or get you some of these plastic ones. Um, this, this fender right here is off my Schwinn. Now what I did with this one is, uh, you can see the little tiny uh, rivets. Well, they started to come loose. So I took some plumber's tape, drilled some holes, put three little bolts and nuts and red Loctite them. Now I'll put this back on my 27.5 Schwinn and uh, if it gets loose, I'll take it off. But you gotta make sure your stuff is secured. You can't just have some wobbly metal fenders on there because if it does come loose, it's gonna cause you to crash. But anyway, These these fenders here, this shorty set I got, are off of a, uh, they're called a Moto Dino bike. They're, they're pretty quality bike. They sell for six, seven hundred dollars. But anyway, that's the look I wanted. See, like I said, I, I don't ride that much and I don't ride in the rain. I don't ride at night. And I don't need saddlebags to carry books or tools or stuff to work. I don't need all that crap. I go for the look. Because you gotta, you got to look cool. Because if you don't look cool, well, why bother? But uh, this fender's got an indent here for a chain guard. Anyway, this thing's solid as a rock. It's not going anywhere. 
I had to modify this brace. Cut it shorter, drill it. But uh, that's about it for fenders. Uh, if you're going to put fenders, secure them. And then uh, here's my next little project. 79cc Predator. I'm getting ready to install it on the fat moto. I'm in no hurry. I'm not sure if I'm going to run this transmission or hook it up to the stock jack shaft. I'll see whichever works best for whatever it needs. I'm thinking more with this transmission. It's smoother. That's a real good bearing in that transmission. I think the whole setup will be smoother than the stock bearings and jack shaft. Although I got new bearings for it. But um, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to show this fender and give my two cents worth, which is all it is. And uh, that's about it. Talk to you later.